everybody. My name is Violet Spencer. I'm an officer on both the Oklahoma County Council and the Southeast District Council of Oklahoma 4-H. This is my fifth video for this 4-H Education for Inclusion video series that I have had the amazing privilege to start. Um, as you know, it is March, so that means that it's a new, it's a new thing. It's a new topic. So, the topic for this month is, any guesses? Anybody? National Women's History Month! I'm so excited. Okay, let me ask you a question. What does women's history mean to you? As you ponder this question, I'm going to get into it. Women's History Month is an annual declared month that highlights the contributions of women's in, women in history and, contem and contemporary society. It is celebrated during March in... In the United States, yes, Oklahoma, um, the United Kingdom, and Australia, corresponding with International Women's Day on March 8th. And during October, in Canada, it's corresponding with Persons Day on October 18th. In the United States, Women's History Month traces its beginnings back to the first, the first National Women's Day in 1911. And in 1978, the school district of Simona, California participated in his in Women's History Month, um, an event that they designed around the week of March 8th, which is, like I said, International Women's Day. And in 1979, a 15-day conference was about women's history was held at Sarah Lawrence College um, from July 13th to July 29th, chaired by historian Gerda Lerner. It was co-sponsored by Sarah L Lawrence College, um, the, Women's, the Women's Action Alliance, and the Smithsonian Institution. When its participants learned about the success of the Simona County, County Women's History Month, uh, History Week celebration, um, they decided to initiate similar celebrations for organizations, communities, and school districts. In February of in 1980, President Jimmy Carter issued a presidential proclamation declaring that national I mean that the week of March 8th, 1980 as National Women's History Week. The proclamation stated, quote, from the settlers who came to our shores, from the first American Indian families who befriended them, men and women uh, have worked together to build this nation. Too often, women were unsung and sometimes their contributions went unheard. But the achievements, leadership, courage, strength, and love that these women um, the, of the women who built America was, vi was as vital as that of the men whose names we know so well. As Dr. Gerda Lerner has stated, women's history is women's right. Is women's right. It is an essential and indispensable heritage from which we can draw pride, comfort, courage, and, lo and a long-range long vision. I ask my fellow Americans to recognize, recognize this heritage with appropriate activities during National Women's History Week, um, March 2nd through March uh, through 8th, through the 8th, 1980. I urge libraries, schools, and community organizations to focus their observances on leaders who struggled for equality. Some of those include Susan B. Anthony, Lucy Stone, Sojourner Truth, Lucretia Mott, Elizabeth Cady Stanton, and Harriet Tubman and Alice Paul. Understanding true history of our country will help us to comprehend the need for full equality under the law for all our people. End quote. In 1981, responding to the growing popularity of Women's History Week, Senator Orrin Hatch and Representative Barbara Mill Cux Cuxy, I hope I said that right. Fingers crossed. Um, 
co-sponsored the first joint congressional resolution proclaiming a Women's History Month. History Week, sorry. Congress passed their resolution, which authorized and requested that the president to proclaim the week being March 7th, 1982, as Women's History Week. Throughout the next several years, Congress passed many more, uh, continued to pass joint resolutions designating a week in March as Women's History Week. Schools across across the country also began their own local celebrations of Women's History Month Week and even Women's History Month. By 1986, 14 states had declared March as Women's History Month. And since 90, 1988, presidents from then on recognized Women's History Month. Now that you've watched this video, you know just a tiny bit about women's history. I highly encourage you all to do your research because without it we wouldn't know our history and without our history where would we be? Honestly, where would we be? And now a closing quote from Frida Kahlo. At the end of the day we can endure much more than we think we can. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you have a great week. Bye.